How many sp3, sp2, and sp hybridized carbon atoms are present in this molecule? And here I am going to give you a trick. So if you have a carbon that has only single bonds, then it's going to be sp3 hybridized. If you have a carbon that has a double bond, one double bond, it will be sp2 hybridized. Let me just show all the single bonds, double. And then if you have a carbon that has a triple bond, it will be sp hybridized. So what we're going to do is we're, let's go ahead and find all of the sp3 hybridized carbons, which are carbons that have all single bonds. Now remember that in bond line structure, every time you see end of the line, all lines coming together, that represents a carbon. So let's go ahead and circle all the carbons that are sp3 hybridized, that, are, that have all single bonds. This one, this one, this one, this one, and I think that's it. So in this molecule, how many sp3 hybridized carbons do we have? We have four. Now, let's go ahead and change our color and let's circle all of the sp2 hybridized carbon atoms, which would be the carbons that have their attached to a double bond. So this one, 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 and this one. Six here, seven, eight. So there are eight sp2 hybridized carbon atoms. And finally, let's change our color for the last time. We will deal with sp hybridized carbon atoms. And these are going to be attached to a triple bond. So where do we see a triple bond? There is, and by the way, at the beginning of your triple bond, that's a carbon atom because your triple bond is sp3, sp hybridized. It will have a 180 degree angle. And that's why we have to draw it straight. We cannot zigzag it but there is a carbon in front of your triple bond. So there is a carbon here, there is a carbon here. So there are two sp hybridized carbon atoms.